we move outside our comfort zone and seek new experiences to grow. We find adventure in the epic and the everyday. We travel to broaden our horizons and engage with nature. We are most at home in remote landscapes and faraway places, but never far from our community of passionate dreamers and wanderers. Moving outside of your comfort zone. When was the last time you went outside of your comfort zone? Is it when you jumped off something into water? When you finally did a backflip? When you talked to someone new? This summer, I moved outside of my comfort zone by speaking in front of a ton of people in a different country. Who are you? I'm Noah Kitchen. I'm 17 years old. And I have one more year of school. Broaden Horizons. What does Broaden Horizons even mean? According to the dictionary, Broaden Horizons means to increase the range of knowledge, understanding, or experiencing. Travel can help broaden horizons. This past summer, I had the wonderful opportunity to travel to Uganda. But first, it was the last day of school, and I was hanging out with some friends. And that night, I got an abnormal text from my dad saying, Got news for you. You are going to Uganda. I, of course, thought he was joking and responded with, Why am I getting shipped to Uganda? Little did I know that 1,536 hours later, I would be on a plane to Uganda. However, I had a great perspective on the idea. I went on this trip with my dad, my basketball coach, and my brother's friend's mom. The whole reason we went on this trip was to help kickstart Ubuntu International. Ubuntu is an organization that is fighting to alleviate poverty in the world by connecting people, identifying our human needs, and sharing our global resources. The first project Ubuntu had was a borehole. Luero, a village in Uganda, experiences longer dry seasons than other parts of Uganda. A borehole provides sustainable clean water source for families in the community. The reason Ubuntu is working in Luero is because a friend who has a farm in Luero saw the need for water and asked for help. While we were in the village of Luero, we had a meeting with all the community leaders, sharing Ubuntu's plans for the future, which includes a maternal medical center and primary education. One big difference that I noticed between the people in Uganda and the people back home in the States is that for one, people are always outside, from sunrise until long after sunset. That is one thing that I wish people did here, being an outdoorsman myself. The other thing is that people help each other out all the time. Part of this reason, in my opinion, is because they have life figured out and realize that they need community to get through life. Another reason might be because of TIA, which means, this is Africa. What this is Africa means is that people are not in such a hurry. You get there when you get there, and it's not a big deal if you're late which in stark contrast to the hustle and bustle of the U.S. Traffic there is insane, worse than Chicago by far. Since the traffic was so bad, we decided to take Boda Bodas to dinner, which are small taxis, but instead of cars, they were motorcycles. These things zip around the city, avoiding traffic or just going right through it, weaving in between cars. Now for the sappy part of the trip, at least for me. We went to a school in the slums of Kampala, the capital of Uganda. I knew it was going to be a lot to take in, and I didn't realize my throat would get so dry and I would have to try to not let my eyes sweat. These kids were so happy and excited just to shake my hand, it's a feeling that I will never forget. Not to mention, they were extremely excited to play football with my basketball coach and me. The school was so thankful for all the school supplies we brought them, they had a cake cutting for us and they also prayed for us. That school put everything into perspective for me because we take for granted menial things like notebooks back in the States. One word that I would use to describe what I learned from the trip would be perspective. 
After the trip, I have a better perspective on life. I've learned to approach things with a positive attitude, even when those tasks may be hard or difficult. Chances are, they're not hard or difficult at all. What's difficult is walking three miles every day just to get clean-ish water. If people can do that every single day and not complain about it, it's the least I can do just to do my task and not complain about something being difficult. Thank you, Uganda.